Thanks for watching. This is Robert Galarowitz, Kidney Survivor. Still have my AV fistula. And our channel here at Healthy Kidney Inc. is to empower you with information to help support good kidney health. If you haven't, subscribe to our channel because it helps other people find our videos so they can get this information to help their situation. And today, we're talking about how to improve kidney disease and sleep better. But if you don't restrict, lower your salt intake, it doesn't really work as well. And it can work much better when you restrict your salt intake. So, we're gonna talk about how to improve kidney disease. There's a lot of different ways and a lot of different things you should do. You shouldn't just look to do one thing when you're trying to improve kidney disease because generally doing one thing isn't the best approach and you're gonna get limited results and sometimes you might not get any results uh, by doing one thing alone. So, you wanna take your medications as prescribed because there's things like high blood pressure that you can't control uh, very well naturally, especially when the kidney is really, really damaged. So take things as you should, get a good nephrologist. We talk about in other videos how you need a good nephrologist, at least two to three opinions, to really get the most amount of information and treatments that you can because, um, you know, just one person, one brain isn't as good as multiple people with multiple brains looking at different areas of your kidney. Okay, so let's talk about sleep. Sleep, insomnia, sleep issues, sleep problems, very common in people with kidney disease because there's melatonin, a sleep hormone. There's melatonin receptors on the kidney. So if the kidney is damaged, your melatonin is not working as well, your circadian cycle, your circadian rhythm, your sleep cycle isn't gonna work as well. So what can you do about it? You can take a supplement called melatonin. Now melatonin is, is a hormone, okay? It's a hormone secreted from the pineal gland, which is it's in your brain more towards the back here, and it regulates your sleeping cycle. And if you go to the National Library of Medicine, and just type in melatonin and kidney disease, we have 366 references. And if you just scroll through, you're gonna see that melatonin looks to improve every single area they study it with kidney disease. Um, it doesn't seem to matter, you get improvement. And a really good thing is that people sleep better. Okay, I wish I knew more about melatonin when I was much younger. I didn't use it till I was later. And I've used it for a lot of periods of time when I needed it when I wasn't sleeping well. So melatonin you can purchase over the counter online. You can go to a local store and it's a variety of doses available. The most common dose of melatonin is three milligrams. Now with people with kidney issues, you can go between three milligrams and up to 10 milligrams safely. This all depends on what's gonna work for you to get you to sleep and stay asleep without waking up groggy. So we always recommend starting with three milligrams. You might need six. The key to this is finding the right dose where you don't wake up groggy and tired. So let's say you go to six milligrams of melatonin, you find that that's, that's making you groggy and tired. You can back it down to three and that might be the right dose for you. So it does require some experimentation, uh, but three to 10 milligrams looks very safe, good to do. People have done it for long term with kidney disease. We have study that studies of like six months. Uh, so short term, don't worry about it. Uh, one side effect is vivid dreaming, which some people don't like. Uh, they find that their dreams are just too vivid. They don't like it. Another side effect is a very small percentage of people with melatonin get the opposite effect where they actually feel more energetic, but that's a really small percentage. For the most people, melatonin works great. It's excellent. It can help improve uh, kidney health of all parameters, plus sleeping better. And if you, if you keep a high salt diet, or if you don't use a low salt diet, it's not gonna work as well. It looks like in some of the research that when you use a low salt diet along with the melatonin, you could reduce the amount of protein in your urine. But if you don't have that lower salt diet to accompany it, it doesn't seem to have that benefit. But you'll have all those other benefits that are really good for the kidney. So melatonin, if you're looking to improve kidney disease, you always should restrict your sodium. That's the one nutrient you wanna just reduce as much as possible under the current recommendations of uh, 2,000 milligrams per day. Some go as high as 2,300 milligrams. I like 1,500 or less, but if you're 2,000 or less milligrams of sodium per day, you're doing excellent for your kidney health. So melatonin, give it a try. 
like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And to your best kidney health, everyone. Bye.